welcome to this channel today happy to be your first time please subscribe to the channel like the video comment on the comment section at the end of the video what the Maya has been accepted and permitted to become the son of Casapreco. Let's go and check why Wadmaya was admitted and accepted as the son of Casapreco. Let's go check out the video. I, I want to ask you this question. Uh -huh. Are you a billionaire? No, I'm not. I'm not a billionaire. You I'm, are? Not, I'm not even, I don't know. As for wealth, mm -hmm. I, I can't say I'm a rich man. No, I can't say I'm a rich man. Then who are you then? I'm an I'm I'm average man. I, I, every person, yes, yes. yes. Doc, yes, yes. I, I think it's all about a mindset. Yeah, yeah, because, because if I say I'm rich, yeah, right. If mm. I can say I come myself, I'm, mm. I'm rich. So I was in, I was in America, yeah, right. America, they have billionaire dollars, right. So if you have some cities, say you are billionaire, you know, Africa, apart from uh, Dangote, who is who is rich in Africa? Nobody. The fact I know and some few South Africans, Ghana, who is rich in Af Ghana, you are not no. This two by four money that we have. No, you know, so if you go and meet the actual billionaires yes. in America, they made a lot of dollars in a, in a month, not hours. So for me, I don't see myself as a rich person. So don't be ordinary. See, people say, good morning, good morning. But it's, it's, it's an ordinary thing. Good morning, say good morning. So what have you achieved? I got, I got achieved anything. But if you are a bit different, I say, oh, you are, you are a man. Right, so when people are sleeping, wake up. When everybody wake up, you know, uh, start crawling. When everybody, everybody is crawling, stand up. When everybody stand up, start walking. When everybody, everybody is walking, right, start, start jogging. jogging. When everybody is jogging, start running. When everybody is running, then you fly. My name is Watermaya, your one and only annoying village boy who is on a journey to change the negative narrative of Africa by celebrating African excellence. This man was born in the forest. He grew up in this village. He left the city to hustle and he became the founder of this prestigious company that you and I boast of because this is a Ghanaian owned company. This is one of the highest paid tax companies in Ghana. Do you know the founder of Casapreco? Will you ever believe that the person behind this great company was born in a forest? Listen, have you heard of Signature? This beautiful building that you're seeing belongs to him. Have you heard of Casa Global? He's the man behind it. Have you heard of Amenfi Plaza? He's the one behind it. Have you heard of this mineral water that is competing with so many foreign-based mineral water in Ghana? You're not awake. So you better drink awake today so that you will be awake and celebrate your own. If I were you, from today onwards, the only water that I will ever drink is awake mineral water. This man has done a lot for this country. And I believe that if you're an African, especially Ghanaians, if you are seeing this video, I'm pleading with you to share this video to anyone that you can. Let's celebrate our own. Let's celebrate this living legend. Let's celebrate the giants of Ghana together. Thank you. This is where I started my schooling, on this very plot, this very plot. The one that you used to walk two hours to come? Exactly, yeah. From the forest in here? here, yeah. So it was, I think, class one, class two, class three, class four, class five, class six, this very plot. You know, and after school, I go back to the forest. Leave the forest, go out there, make it big, and come back and retire in the forest. I'm a villager. Mm -hmm. I want to live in a village. Eh? I live like a villager and eat what the villagers eat. You grow your own thing and eat your, your own thing, does it? So can I call you a village man? Yeah, village man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a village man. And when he retired, he decided to build himself 
a castle in the forest. But listen, this man is so modest to the extent that he doesn't even want to accept the fact that he's living in a castle. He called this place a house. You know, when I, when I build a family house, yeah. for my family, not my children, mind you, eh? That's the extended family. I'm the head of the Diana family, hmm. right? I'll show you the old building that I came to inherit. inherit. But you so, said this is a family house. It's a family house, yes. Right, I I've got my private one at the back. But Doc, you're calling that place a family house? It's a family house, yes. I know, like, you're so modest. That's a family castle. Okay, I have family house because we had it before. <laughs> we had it before. We had it before. And if you're growing up, um, when I saw the, the ceiling, yeah. And the TNG that they did about 150 years ago, mm. I said, wow, you know, and that inspires me also to do something for generations. Yes. I was so inspired by my forefathers, you know. They had a, they had a, I thought they had a lot of wealth, but uh, because I came to meet the good ornaments, a lot of good ornaments, an ornament, a lot, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I believe the family in general was rich. But along the line, you know, they lost, it. They, they lost it. But after being there, I think that is a castle from heaven to earth. You see, uh, you know, what, I, that's what I'm talking about. You see, eagle, when the eagle want to hunt, you know, it it's steadies uh, its prey, you know, and go down straight and pick it. You know that. Mm. In the sea. Yeah. If you, you even they can even catch snakes, you know. Yeah. Tell it and pick it and tell it to go. So I focus. Not being from buoyant. You know, uh, so so mine is focus, focus, focus. So probably most of you have seen his product out there, but you don't know that he's the man behind it. Let me help you. Casa Preco. Signature. I mean this beautiful building that you've been seen in Accra, belongs to him. Residential is about signature. Signature. My signature is one of our, our uh, that is our, that's my name because it's a signature. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a different um, design altogether. Oh, okay. It's about almost 230 apartments. Why the name Signature? It's my signature because, because, because I give you a name. That's my signature. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe that you and I didn't know that this building belongs to him. You know why? Uh, not, not everything that you do that for publicity. Exactly. That's why, for me, I'm not a media person. Uh -huh, really, I, I don't like the media, but sometimes you cannot hide. Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm giving this interview I, to you. I, 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 I know people call me for interview. This one I did. Once, it comes out. They start calling me and accusing me. Why did you give interview to uh, oh, Maya? What am I? <laughs> about, about you are called, I told I want you to come and interview you. He said no. Aha. Uh -huh. What am I is special, yeah? You, you guys yeah. need to understand yeah. that. He does not grant interviews, but I guess I found an interview about him in 2016 when he won the EY World Entrepreneurship of the Year. Dr. Kwabena Ajay, um, you're a group chairman at Casa Preco, and you are obviously an entrepreneur there in Ghana. Congratulations for that. You're quite an inspiration to a lot of us entrepreneurs. We've got a lot of young entrepreneurs who are watching the show right now. A lot of us start businesses, but we fail to run them for a longer period. How have you been able to succeed in business, sir? Uh, businessmen, uh, we have the same attitude, the same flair. To be successful in business, first, you should have a passion to succeed. You know, because I always say that nothing succeeds better than success. Can you believe it? The whole world picked him from Ghana to celebrate him. I want us to celebrate this man today. Share this video, share this video to your dad. If you are a dad and you're watching this video, you can share this video to your children. Let them get to know this living legend, living in Ghana that our people are not celebrating him. But since he was born in the village, he only granted this interview because I'm the village boy. But yo, it's not just because I'm the village boy. I'm the new son in the family.
So ah. now, 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 you are my son. Yeah, oh, I'm not a son, uh -huh. yeah? <laughs> you are my son. Uh -huh. uh, and after spending time with him, I came up with a conclusion that he is a visionary. Well, yes, because um, with that vision, you get lost. Any, any human being with that vision, you get lost. Right? So that's why some people get stuck. You go in the circle, it's called a rat race, right? Mm. But these things, for me, I'm, I am an old man. Right? I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for future generation. It has to be generational thinking. Do, do you think generational wealth is something that Africans should look into? It's very important. It's very important because you, you pass on. You see, like, like a root. You know, you, a, you, you made a path mm. and then your generation will definitely go uh, to the path. You know, yeah. So for me, I am, as a, as a family head, I'm doing for my family, my immediate family, and also even my extended family. family. So I, I'm taking good care of my, I'm taking care of my family members' educa education. Yeah. Every member, I didn't tell you yesterday, every member mm -hmm. from my clan, mm -hmm. you know, who qualifies for university education, mm. as sponsor him or her, you know, so that you can be a great base of your, your clan. You know, my, my children, I'm doing the same thing. My grandchildren, I'm doing the same thing. You know, I set up a fund for my grandchildren. Whoa. An educational fund, yes, all of them have got it. You know, so that when do we reach 18 years that they go to the university level, right? Yeah, whether their father have money or not, their yeah. grandparents have already set up the fund for them. This man is an industrialist. Yeah, my name is William Akunu Atta. I'm the Senior Manager of Research and Development for Herbal Farms and Research Limited. This is the first out of, of Group Chairman. This is where he used to live, and this is where he started Casapreco Company Limited. We currently use it for the production of concentrates for Casapreco Company Limited. Because it grew out of proportion. You know, you produce, and we are, we are, we are loading on the streets, selling the sun and loading, you know. But fortunately for me, because of the generational thinking, I've already had acquired a land as Pinders Road, our current location, you know. So uh, at, a, at a point, we said, let's go and build a factory because you cannot be loading uh, inside the, uh, the sun. Mm -hmm. so that it's, really, it's really, you have to cover it quickly with the tarpaulin. So that's where we, I went to Germany to also go and buy same mystical hand automatic machine, lines. Uh, so right now, when we came to our new facility, yeah. we are no more doing manual washing again. And then we have trans transited from the uh, manual washing to, uh, to semi automation So I went to Germany to buy the used machinery from Germany. We did that for almost about maybe five years or more, you know. And then the Nigerians came in the general head of the product, Alumobitus especially. Yeah. And then they started coming in. Right? So I made a line. Now that the money was coming, actually. So I wasn't using the money also. But because I was really investing in the business. So I bought another, another line for Nigeria. And it could not even survive them. You know, they come and said, I, 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 Oga, Oga, I've been here for two weeks. They don't load me. They don't load me. <laughs> you know? So actually, that prompted me. Eh, to go and buy a brand new land from Crohn's, you know, a brand new fast line from Crohn's. At the point, uh, one line was doing about 35,000 bottles per hour. Wow. And even the Crohn's book asked me, are you going to use it line for water or alcohol? It's alcohol. For Nigeria, it was, eh, it was booming in Nigeria, you know. They just were buying a lot. This man right here is a philanthropist and his philanthropic works is on another level. When he returned back to his village, he decided to transform the entire village. Can you believe it? Let's start from the personal level. Because he's a family man, he decided to transform his family house into what? A family castle. He built a school for his own people. I was able to build a school for them. I built a computer lab 
for them. They have, they have internet through um, other people and and uh, I gave them light pool from the beginning. That's probably 30 years ago. Wow. I bought a light pool. They put the light poles on. We want to see the government, and the government brought the, the wires. Yes. So when I built a house, I built a school also uh, for them. So when I was here, I was like a headmaster here. The teachers have to come to uh, school early because I'm watching you from here. <laughs> the, 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 the children know that I was watching them mm. when, when I was here. Yeah, yeah. But that's why your, your house is opposite the school. Uh -huh, yes, yes. And he realized that you can have education, but health is important. And he realized that there is no hospital in the entire village and all the villages surrounding it. So he decided to build them a modern polyclinic. And then um, I built uh, the clinic recently. Mm. Yeah. Polyclinic um, with, a, with a theater, with S3, children's ward, me ward, uh, treatment room, lab. It is there right now. You know? So I did that one too. A facility being put up by Katapako Company Limited. Okay. Okay. Being so, put up as in? As in it was built and then furnished by Katapako Company. You mean everything here? Everything you see around is from Katapako Company Limited. Not from the government? No. The village that he was born did not have water, so he decided to dig a borehole to supply water to the entire village. He didn't want to make life in the village so boring, so he decided to use his network to bring MTN to the village to connect internet across the entire village. So when I was there, I was using internet. I never felt like I was living in a village. He realized that since this village is going to have some kind of fan vibe, there are some people that would definitely misbehave. So he decided to what? Bring police station. He built it himself and the public servant that are coming to the village to serve the government he gives his own house to them i gave my first building that i built when i was 24 years at back time 24 26 years around that time so, 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 it was a very nice building but i gave it out to the teachers then my father's house recently as i also you know put it in good order to give it to uh, the teachers. I was born in the village and the first time I used water closet was when I found myself in China. So places like this water closet is too modernized for them. So he decided to transform this. Katapreko also did the, the toilet facility with flashing facility. We are even yet to commission it. Probably we commissioned it this week. You know, where for the first time everybody who comes here we we'll go and have a where you can flash and then we have done biogas. Yeah. So that the biogas we're trying to see if we can use even the gas to do so, something later on. So that's how it is. This is used to be the toilet that the villagers use and they still use it. It's not like they are not using it anymore. They how still how use it and decided to transform you, how, how what you're seeing right now to what is mm -hmm. over there. I, I, I'm very busy. You don't think a man like this needs to be celebrated? I have been there before. I mean, this I that he's talking about, it's not like we're making it up, but I've lived a life like this before, where you just go squat, do your thing, I see. and you don't even have tea roll or man. paper. You use the bushes, scrub your, and then you go back home. So the sustainability that I was talking of is food, right? Security, mm. communication, medicals, right? Uh -huh. And ed education. You have these things in your village. If you're in Tamar Accra and I'm, I'm here. There's no difference. There's no difference. This village have everything. And I feel like there is one thing that is missing. I never knew that the visionary man had it in mind. When I came here, mm -hmm. we set up about five-year development plan for the village. You know, where we said, okay, we we'll do a school, we we'll do a police station, we we'll do a clinic, right? And the, a bank is coming here very soon. Yesterday they were here. You know, a, a small uh, bank 
is coming here. So whether the cocoa farmers can easily go and uh, deposit their money, you know. Um, also inspire, um, I mean, keeping money mm. and not spending it. Because the money is with you, the chances that you can spend it is very easy. But, you know, if you bank at the bank, you know, yeah. So, so that's why I'm helping the villagers to set up a bank, small bank. You know, so I already spoke to, I mean, from my Royal Bank, they have rented a, um, a facility here and they are going to start operating their bank very soon. So very soon, there will be a bank here. And after spending time with him, I found out that he's also religious. I mean, I feel like successful people that I have come in contact with are so religious. And he is not an exception. I believe in God. Yes. Whatever you do, for me, that's, that's in my belief. Hmm. Yes. I believe that all the stuff I, have, I passed through, there, there might be something behind it. Uh -huh. And also, I believe that there's life, life at a death. Because the Bible says that, you know, um, at the point, God will raise both the living and the death. You know, that's why Jesus Christ also raised Lazarus. You know, when, when he was there for three or four days, right? Mm, yeah. To show you that what he has done today, it can be done tomorrow. Can you believe that he built a church for God? When I saw what this man has been able to achieve and knowing where he was born, there was this question that was going through my mind. How would someone born in a place like this come this far? Yeah. So does it mean that anyone can be successful? I believe so. I believe so. It's about, about, about the determination. It doesn't matter where you're born. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't matter where, where you're born. It's, it's about, see, I think uh, this thing about um, success, right? Mm -hmm. if, you are, if you are poor, or if you are born in a very poor environment, it's just like you're being put in a hole, you know, a hole. But if you are, if you are determined, you cannot remain the whole forever, you know. You have to come up, struggle to come up. That the struggle is what most of us are not able to struggle to come up. So we are born in the in the hole. We stay in the hole and die in the, in the hole. hole. Your children will also come. They are born in the hole. They die in the hole. Then their children come. Then you call the right race, you know, right race. You are going round, 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 round. You know. So um, you need to struggle to come up. Uh -huh. you need to struggle to come up. And that just struggle is yourself, not me. Everybody individual. So, uh, nobody can raise, hold your hand and bring you up. It's you. It's, it's, that's why it's a mental attitude. What are the things that you've done in this country, yeah, in Ghana, that nobody knows that you're the one behind it? I, 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 this is, I know you don't like talking about this is this is for me. What are the things that you've done, apart from everybody know you to be Casa Precon? What are the things that you've done in the country oh, that nobody uh, knows that uh, you did? Well, well, well um, initially, yeah. let's say I, I heard that uh, there's uh, somebody delivered at a hospital, hmm. you know, and that has detained because he cannot pay the, the fee to, to be discharged. I just told my um, officer, 2,000 Ghana cities. Uh, yeah, let's go and pay. You know, you go and pay, and then after the charge, the, the guy will tell me that. Uh, uh, the, the, the people want to come and thank me. I say, you know, I, I don't, don't need want. to be thanked. I don't need to be thanked, you know. So that sort of, if you have small money and you give some hours, and you, that, you, that will not let you, that will collapse you or collapse your company. Exactly. Why don't do it? That's why this place, this, this place, at a point, mm. I was taking care of everybody in this, uh, everybody who, uh, everybody who goes to the school. Everybody from this town had a special for me. Everybody. Yeah. Because I thought I, I could afford it. So why don't I give to somebody who can afford it? One thing that I really want you all to know that successful people start from somewhere. And this is how he made his first money. Uh, you know, how I made my money, I'll tell you this story. <laughs> because I was on the, on the street for some time. Yeah. It toughened me up, right? So just imagine you being on the street for some time with, with guys, you, 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 and then getting a formal employment. That's easier. Easy. <laughs> because I have friends now. Yeah. So in the morning, 
oh Charlie, you, you brought uh, you brought um, Kenke, I'll come and eat. So when I when I joined the Valco, we made Susu, Susu, and uh, I think Susu that you made, you take all the money this month mm. is for you, all 100 percent, right? The next month is it's for this person. person. And this man, so I was the last person to take it. So I think about the seventh month, I took also the money. That's how I get the money to be trading. That, that is the story. And that's the money that I had till today hasn't left me. And not that I had money from a loan from anybody. That's the that, money that, that I had. That's the money? Uh -huh, that I had. You know, that's how I've nurtured it from, from that time to this time that money has never left my hand. On behalf of all Africans, Dr. Kobena Ajay, we say, are you cool? And listen, I got a chance to spend three days with him. You can go for fishing, catch and eat. Let, let, let's, let's do this one. You, catch, you eat what you catch, let's go. Oh, I, I'm, I'm ready. Yes, okay, so we'll give you next. If you don't catch... You are not eating. You are not eating. <laughs> <laughs> and that three days that I spent with him, I decided to do almost five videos so the whole channel this week we are celebrating the living legend my dad i mean my new dad whether you like it or not so since he's a village boy uh, yeah. you're not a village boy <laughs> a village uncle man. <laughs> the village man on this platform so stick and stay subscribe to be part of this channel the videos might be probably long because imagine all his life without an interview and what am I is here, I'll bring all the details out. So most of the videos that I'll be uploading next week might be 30 minutes, 40 minutes, even an hour. So yeah, stick and stay, subscribe, like the video, share to your friends and family. I will really want the president to repost this video for me. Can we make it happen? Tag His Excellency. I feel like this man right here needs an honorary award from the president. I'll see you all in the next one. Aya Maya. Peace out. Thank you for watching the video that was what Maya admitted and adopted into the, uh, the family of Casapreco. He is now the son of Casapreco. It was so marvelous. Do you understand? Do you know why? This is because what Maya is the number one village boy, annoying village boy. And this man, not knowing, is also an annoying village man. So birds of the same feather flock together. So Wadamaya, the village boy, meet his father, the village man or the village uncle. That is the, you know, the cohesion, the chemistry between the two of them. And no wonder you can, you can see the blessing they carry. Annoying village boy with the annoying village man or uncle coming together. They carry the same charisma. The same ideology, the same mentality, best of the same feather flock together. Thank you for sticking and staying with me and enjoying this video and learning from this man and Wadimaya. Enjoying so many things and learning so many things about Casa Preco and Wadimaya. I'm going to come away with more videos and updates of your icons and models and celebrities.